president just drove past <laughs> and then he like stopped filming. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Vienna, the political, but far more importantly, the cultural capital of Austria. Today, we're gonna to take you through a walking tour of the most important places in Vienna and show you what the perfect stopover in Vienna can look like. Our first stop is the landmark of Vienna, the Stephansdom or St. Stephen's Cathedral. Actually, you can get here very easily. If you're landing at the airport in Vienna, there is a train that takes you from the airport right into the city. And then you can get the subway here to the Stephansdom. This Stephansdom is designed in the Gothic style. It is a must-see here in Vienna. And you actually can go inside, upstairs, and get an elevated view of the surrounding area. A uh, crazy view from here. There's even lots to see from just strolling around what's on the side. Yeah, a lot of it doesn't matter where you look, there's a lot of heritage here, which is really, really nice. And we are also currently in the first district, meaning this is the most expensive area in Vienna. You will also see a lot of luxury stores here and a lot of tourist traps. So be aware of the tourist traps. So when you think of Vienna, of course, you also think of Viennese coffee and the Viennese coffee culture. And some actually say that the famous coffee brand Blue Bottle Coffee derived its name from a small historic coffee shop here in Vienna called Café zur Blauen Kanne, which means coffee to the blue can or bottle. We are not big fans of the typical Austrian coffee, but I think no. we do need to show the coffee culture in this yes, vlog. Yes, we have to show you because it's part of the Austrian culture. Um, it's, not the pet, it's not the best coffee that you will get, but it's, a, it's more about the experience. And with experience, I also might mean the unfriendly waiters in Vienna. <laughs> so. Yeah, so that is very true. Waiters here in Vienna are a little bit rough around the edges but it is a style of waiting on table they are they have a charm it's usually a little bit of a impolite joking yes. they don't really mean to be impolite but it's just a thing it's a thing i think it comes with every capital city that the people who live in the biggest city are a little bit rougher as mike said it's not meant in a bad way it's just you know, some kind of humor that derives from the language. So Ida coffee shop is synonymous with Viennese coffee culture. The bright pink lights are hard to oversee. They sell coffee, delicious baked goods, and we're gonna go check it out. But before we go inside, we have to put on FFP2 masks and we have to show them that we are vaccinated. Otherwise, you will not get in. Slight change of plans. We are going to come back here to do a dedicated video because we said we want to show you, you know, cakes and, and sweets from Austria and they have such a huge variety that we decided to come back and do a video about it. Yeah. First right? things first, coffee and breakfast, right? Yes, but we also want to show you um, the famous Café Sacher, um, which is at the end of the Kärntner Straße. And this is, by the way, the, the shopping street. We'll show you a few shops. They have some cheap shops as well. Not cheap, affordable shops <laughs> like H&M. Um, here as well, or Zara, um, but yeah, it's mostly luxury brands. By the way, a few days ago we uploaded a video showing you Austrian street food where we tried sausages from a Würstel stand in Linz and a few other savory delicacies that we like to eat in Austria during the day on the go. So if you haven't seen that video yet, it'll pop up right here. And in the back you see the, the Gastgärten, it's called. It's the outside air sitting areas in Austria. This is usually full during summertime. It is not as packed during winter time because obviously it's a little bit cold to sit outside, but uh, still, still a big part of Austrian culture to sit outside. It's the opposite of what we have in the Philippines uh, where we live and yeah, um, because in the Philippines, it's so hot outside that you want to sit in the air-conditioned uh, room inside. So yeah, big difference. If you have a little bit of time in Vienna, maybe 24, 48 hours, I would definitely recommend coming here during the daytime, but also taking a look at this inner city during nighttime because it is really, really pretty. All the buildings are illuminated and you know, all the landmarks as well. And it just looks so nice, right? So this is a historical landmark. It's called the Pestsäule or the Dreifaltigkeitssäule. And it's in memory of the big plague that we had in, you know, uh, back then in Europe, many, many years, many, many hundreds of years ago. 
thousands. I don't know. I have to look it up. You know, we learned this at school and I forgot. But yeah, uh, it's here in Vienna. It's beautiful. Um, and it's just to remind, you know, there has there have been pandemics here as well, uh, way before what we have now. <laughs> Here they are making the famous Austrian Kaiserschmarrn. There are many stories behind how this was invented. I don't know which one is the true story, but this looks like an amazing Kaiserschmarrn. We, we might have to just yeah. try this. It looks so let's good. Let's do. Let's do it. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? <laughs> Wee. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so um, I was going to order a flat white, but Nelly told me I have to order some traditional Austrian coffee. So this is a Franziskana, which is a coffee that comes with whipped cream on top. Hey. That's actually quite good. That is actually very good. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. It's very... Uh, very good. The price for the coffee was a little bit expensive, I would say. I'll show you later on. Um, but yeah, I ordered a little breakfast, <laughs> eggs with sausages, and can oil, which is the Austrian um, sunflower oil. Yeah. So is it sunflower oil? No. This, this little bit of egg is thirteen dollars. Yes. And how much is your Kaiserschmarrn? I don't know. I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so a Kaiserschmarrn basically is kind of a pancake batter. Uh, in Austria we have palatschink, which are very, very thin pancakes, almost as thin as the French crepe. So it's less pancake, it's more crepe, I'd say. And there's a story behind it that the cook was not concentrating and more flour and sugar fell into the pot, so it became fluffy. And uh, he said, um, this is a Schmarrn. And a schman translates to this is uh, silly, silly nonsense, rubbish. So it turned into the Kaiser schman because the Kaiser enjoyed it nonetheless. But as I said before, there are many, many stories how this came to be. But it is fluffy, shredded pancakes that comes with a Zwetschgenröster, which is basically a hot um, Zwetschgen marmalade almost. Blunt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that is so good. Yum. Oh, that is really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that hits the spot. Okay, we have almost finished our Kaiserschmarrn. I just wanted to mention there are also raisins in there. But it, it fits really nicely into the, the whole thing. And the sugar is caramelized. So when you bite into it, you have some like nice little crunch. Mmm. This is really good. And what we have here are actually Krapfen. It's like donuts filled with some goodness. Buchteln. And it comes with a vanilla sauce. Really, really delicious. $27.90, kind of pricey but also delicious. The coffee itself was six euro and ten cents, which is the most expensive I've, coffee I've had in a while. But okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but as mentioned before, you pay for the experience and it's in the first district, which has already very high renting prices, so you have to consider that as well. Here we have arrived now at the Hofburg Vienna and right up here we have Fiaker which is the horse carriages that we have in Vienna. It's so so pretty, so so smelly but that's just part of the deal. <laughs> and also what we have here is the Sissi Museum. Mm -hmm. Never visited that before but we did have the honor a few years ago to be part of an event at the Hofburg. Ha <laughs> ha 
president just drove past <laughs> and then he like stopped filming. <laughs> uh, flag, statue, cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. We're not the best tour guides, but we hey, wanted to show. Hey, 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 we gave a good tour. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tour. Uh, Vienna definitely worth coming, definitely worth a visit. If you just have a stop over in, in, at the airport and you have a few hours, come out here, check out the city and enjoy it. Enjoy the food, enjoy the culture, go visit some museums, go to the opera. Uh, Vienna has a lot to offer and uh, Vienna also has a lot of food experiences to offer. Vienna is pricey. I will say that, mm. but well worth it. If you enjoyed this vlog, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here, and we'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Remember to stay awesome. Stay positive. And make it happy. <laughs> you know, be you know, positive. you know the deal. No, no, you know. no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, be positive. Bye-bye.